Welcome back to the Theme Park Wizard, and today, Universal decided to drop a couple of bombshell announcements on us this morning, which was insane. Of course, yesterday, Disney talked about their awesome announcements that we talked about in a live stream with Mr. Dre. You can catch that on the channel right, right now. But today, Universal decided to announce a brand new theme park geared for families and young children which i'll break down in a separate video and that will be released released after this one so subscribe for that they also decided to announce a new horror nights attraction yes uh, nearly a year ago rumors started swirling uh, a, a little bit on screenscape in vital vegas now uh the universal was thinking of building a permanent horror nights attraction or an hhn type venue in las vegas then uh, we didn't hear anything about those rumors or nothing came of them until today when Universal announced that they are in fact building a 110,000 square foot ho Halloween Horror Nights type experience in Las Vegas and this will be a part of Area 15. Area 15 is amazing. I have a video of the Omega Mart inside Area 15 inside um, on my channel. You can go check that out as well. Um, very cool stuff. Area 15 is a giant entertainment center with different things like axe throwing, arcades, um, brain games, the Omega Mart, uh, indoor suspended coaster or hang glider experience, or it's either they call it zipline or hang, it's, it depends what it is, but it's either, uh, it's an indoor suspended coaster or zipline, whatever you want to call it. It's in there as well. And it's really a massive art ex exhibit. It's really, really cool. And, and they are expanding to this massive parking lot across the street and doing a 20-acre expansion. And that is the entire Area 15 itself is doing a 28-acre expansion. And Universal will be the tenant, the anchor tenant of this 20-acre expansion with 110,000 square feet of space for a permanent HHN-type venue. You can see they released the concept art here. You can see Jack the Clown in there as well as some other scary figures. It reminds me of very stranger things like with the you know this warehouse that says you know Versal on it, but those kind of, it reminds me of the upside down with the the Reds over there. So that'd be cool if they brought in maybe a Stranger Things type uh, house back. This um, is going to be const constantly updated see for uh, for seasonal offer offerings and merch. And each of the houses will be updated as well. It won't be the same house. But I'm sure each year be, or maybe even each season, will be new houses. So uh, it won't get stale. It will be plenty of things for you guys to do to, for us to return. So I'm very excited about that. There will also be eateries. Yes, there will be eateries by day. Turning to Nightmare uh, haunted bars by night, which is very, very interesting. I'm curious what they mean by that. I'm sure they'll have special, like, uh, you know, special food and drink, but I'm sure maybe at least at nighttime, some of those characters will be coming to scare you as you're drinking your drinks out there, and that'd be, that'd be really cool. Something kind of like what's rumored at Epic Universe or Classic Monsters Land Epic Universe, where it comes like a HHN type of environment at night. I'm sure at nighttime here, it is definitely more scarier than during the day over here. Again, this will be a year-round, yes, year-round experience in Las Vegas at Area 15, 24, or 365 days a year. So, I'm sure during Halloween might be a little bit scarier, a little bit different, but it'll be a, a quite, quite the scary experience all season long, or all year long for all four seasons, so that is Super cool, and Area 15, again, is just cool in general, so look out, Area 15 will shoot up to the top of uh, Vegas, uh, Las Vegas list and tourist list when they go there, because it'll be slammed, it's already slammed to do stuff now, but this is then just one part of their expansion, there's still several acres left, and if you look at the concept art, you can see here, there's a lot of new buildings being built here, so and like I wonder what that colorful building is to the very right hand side. It could be a different, another type of Omega Mart experience. So, very curious. Area 15 will be hopping. There'll be 
plenty of stuff to do. Gosh, I wonder since this is uh, Universal's really first foray, first foray into the Vegas market. I wonder if it's successful if they'll eventually put a themed hotel on the strip uh, with a casino. And I know Disney doesn't want to put a hotel on the strip, at least with a casino, because, you know, that's too edgy for them. But Universal can go there. Universal can go there because uh, they are edgier. So very curious what this will lead to the future with here with Universal and the Las Vegas market. But what do you guys think? Are you guys super excited about this uh, new HHN experience, this Halloween Horror Nights experience coming to Las Vegas. There's no timetable yet, but soon whenever Area 15 Phase 2 breaks around, that's uh, about two years after that's when you can expect this is open. So right now, it is currently a parking lot. You can go to the original the yeah original Area 15 now if you're in Vegas, but this will be on a 20-acre expansion to the parking lot to the north. But yeah, what do you guys think of this? Let me know in the comments, comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. And subscribe if you want to see the uh, tomorrow's video of the breakdown of that new children's or family, young families park coming to Frisco, te Texas. Because uh, there's some concepts here that maybe can make into the kid zone. Uh, er, Retheme or can make into some different major parks as well. Especially with some of these franchises. So, should be very interesting times. Universal rapidly, rapidly grows. And as always, have a fantastic day.